how the python programmer is able to provide the graphical interface for his user so what are the built-in functions available so that we can make use of that function and the write the program in a short code creating the data frame using pandas and excel sheet a dot cvv files dot cvv files how we can create using numpy and pandas hello everyone welcome to the introduction session on python programming lab this is a subject embedded to your fourth semester bca student from mysore university myself induje the faculty of computer science department with Ashram First Grade College, Temple of Excellence, Mysore. Today, in this uh, introductory session, we are going to discuss what is Python programming. Hope all of you, one or the other way, heard what is Py heard about the word Python programming. Okay, nowadays we have a different programming language for a different platform. For example, if you want to develop the web application, we have a PHP and HTML. If you want to develop the software, we have a C++, Java and .NET, C hash, so on. And do any operation on the database, we have a MySQL, SQLite, so on. Different programming languages are there. A single program that can accommodate all the programming platforms is a python programming language you might have heard for all problem one solution that is nothing but python programming language right in this session we are going to discuss what is the syllabus you have for your uh, academics then what is the learning outcome you are going to get after studying this particular course then how many units we have, how many units you're supposed to study for this particular thing. And then distribution, internal marks, how much and external marks distribution and question paper pattern we are going to discuss. Let's start with the syllabus. How many units of syllabus you have? You have three units of syllabus. Out of these three units, what we are going to discuss on what we are going to learn we are going to learn the introduction and the features of python programming language why is python what all are the application of python or where all you can use python how to install the python and features what all the features of python programming language then in the second unit we discuss some of the important data structures that has been used in python programming language some of them are string list tuples and then the set these are all very important data type to be understood by the programmer when he is handling the python programming language in the module 3 we are going to discuss object oriented programming concepts how the object oriented programming concept is embedded into the python programming language then guis what is gui graphical user interface how we can provide how how the python programmer is able to provide the graphical interface for his user then python sqlite as i told you a single solution for all the platform is python so here we are defining designing the interface here we are using the sql database and we are using a python programming in data analysis as well as a data visualization it will provide the prototype to visualize the data how data has been processed for what particular problem so these are all we are going to discuss in each unit let's see what is the learning outcome that comes after studying all the three units what is the learning outcome at the end of this course the student will be able to explain the basic concept of python programming language all the basic concept you'll be clear with what all the basic concept of python why python how python uh, why not the other languages everything you are going to understand the second point is demonstrate the pro efficiency in handling the loops and in the creation of 
function how effectively or efficiently you can create the function and handle the loops in python you are going to learn that then identify the methods to create and manipulate the least tuple and dictionary what are these least tuple and dictionary these are all the data structure that has been used in the python programming language so how we can use this data structure in identifying a methods or in creating the methods and discover commonly used operation involving the file handling one of the major operations in the computer is handling data or handling file so we are going to discuss some of the commonly used operation to handle the file or handle the data then apart from that interpret the concept of object oriented programming using python we can interpret the concept what is the concept of object oriented programming object classes polymorphism inheritance encapsulation and abstraction how these all concepts will be used in python that we are going to understand then develop the emerging application of relevant fields using python once you are thorough with above all the five points you can able to develop your own application using python programming language this is what the learning outcome if you study or concentrate properly on this particular subject you are going to understand all the six points okay next coming into the syllabus unit wise we are going to discuss what we'll study in the unit 1 we are going to study in the unit 1 python version how many versions of python history of the python how to install the python when python is created who developed the programming language called python why it is named as python okay that all we are going to discuss in unit 1 a uh, installation of python python command line modes python ides how many ides ides is nothing but integrated development environment how many platforms are there to work on python that is uh, ides a simple python program you are going to write the very simple basic python program and then python basis what is a python basis for any language we should have the basis like keywords identifiers variables then um, expressions operators these are all we are going to discuss operations that is variable operations expressions preceding and associations different data types what we are using in the python programming languages and indentation how indentation is very important in the python while we follow the syntax in other languages we must follow the indentation in the python and comment how to write the comment line how to use a built in function how to use a console input output devices these are all we are going to discuss in the unit 1 apart from that we are going to discuss the python control flow control flow is nothing but how the instruction will be followed how the instruction will be executed one after the other that is nothing but control flow type of control flow control flow statements statements means each executable instruction in the program is called as statement and uh when we say it is a control flow there should be some condition to control what all the condition if else else if while loops break continue statements and looping statement like ranges and then the exit these are all some of the function what we are going to discuss or what we are going to use in python programming language apart from control flow we are have to handle some exception exception is nothing but errors whatever we are writing the program some errors comes so how to handle those errors that is we are going to discuss in the exception handling type of error type of exceptions exception handling uh, techniques and the exception how is been handled finally then python function some inbuilt function type of function 
function definition, syntax, how to write the function, how to call the function, how to pass the parameter into the functions and how to give the return statement, default parameters, command lines arguments, keyword argument and recursive function. These are all we are going to study when we are covering with the unit 1. Then moving to the unit 2 what we are going to cover, we are going to cover the data structures like strings, list, tuples and then the set. These are all the user defined data types built specially for Python programming language. Accessing the string characters, how to access the string using the str function, operation on the string, what all the operation we can do like a string uh, combining two string, concatenating two string, finding the length of the string, uh, slicing, joining, traversing, format specifiers, these are all we are going to learn on the string, escape sequence, raw and unicode strings with respect to the Python programming language. Apart from string, another data type what we have is list. List, how to create the list, operation, what all we can do on the list, then built-in functions on the list. What are the built-in functions available so that we can make use of that function and the write the program in a short code. So built-in functions on the list, implementation of stacks and queue using the list. In that one more type of list is, is there that is called as nested list. Nested means one within the another that is called nesting. Nested list we are going to discuss. And in the dictionaries, dictionary is also one type of data structure we consider how to create a dictionaries operation, what all the operation we can do on the dictionaries, built in functions on the dictionaries and then methods, dictionary methods calling the function, what all function we can call, what all method we can use and populating and traversing the dictionary, how to traverse the dictionary. That all we are going to discuss as dictionary as a data structure of Python and tuples and the set, how to create a tuple, operations on the tuples, built in functions on the tuples, method creating the sets operation on the sets and built-in functions on the sets and creating the methods using set. These are all some important concept we are going to discuss or we are going to study in this topic that is unit 2. Then moving on to the unit 3. Unit 3 we are discussing about the concept of object oriented programming. Basic concept of object oriented programming as all of we know that is classes and then the object. How to create a class? This is a little bit different than how we are creating the class in Java and C++. So how create to create the class and objects? constructors, method, classes with the multiple object, a single class having multiple objects, how to create the object or within the class, object as an argument, object as a return value, inheritance, one more concept of object oriented that is inheritance, single and multiple inheritance we are going to discuss and multi-level and multi-path inheritance also we are going to discuss. Then the one more concept of object oriented is encapsulation. What is the definition for encapsulation? Private instance variable and polymorphism. And, and one more concept that is polymorphism. Poly means a single function taking up many forms that is called as polymorphism. The definition of polymorphism operator overloading we are going to discuss with respect to the object oriented programming. Apart from object oriented programming we are going to discuss graphical user interface. In that graphical user interface the Tigna models, windows and then the wedges, layout how to manage the layout of the user interface and package what all the package supposed to be imported grids and then where exactly we have to place the interface windows that is we are going to learn in the GUI concepts. Next we are going to discuss about the Python SQLite. Python SQLite is mainly to deal with the database management system. What is SQLite? How many modules are there in the SQLite? What are the methods that we can connect through the SQLite? Cursor, execution, closer, connecting to the database. How this program will connect 
at the back end, how it will provide at the front end, the table creation, operations on the table, that is insertion, selection, updation, deletion, and dropping the table. These are all operations that can be done on Python SQL Lite, how we are going to do that. Then data analysis, very important. NumPy5 is a tool that has been used for data analysis. Introduction to NumPy, arrays creation using a NumPy, operations on array, pandas, introduction to the pandas. This is one more tool. NumPy is one, one tool and pandas is one more tool. Introduction to the pandas, what is panda? Series and data frames, creating the data frame using pandas and Excel sheet dot uh, cvv files dot cvv files how we can create using numpy and pandas then data visualization how we are going to visualize the data using python is we are going to study here introduction to the visualization what visualization why visualization that comes under the introduction to visualization and matlab library this is a library that has been inbuilt function that has an inbuilt function to accomplish this task that is visualization task the different type of charts using the pie plot when we are using the excels also we are using the python and we are creating the charts creating the reports or the records using the charts by with the help of pie plot this is one more application of the python how to use that application and when to use that application we are going to discuss in this particular unit 3 this all uh, three concept is just not in detail just in abstract level and the remaining all concepts are in detail we are going to discuss so this is all about unit 3 next moving on to the marks distribution your internal marks will be for 30 marks from unit 1 you will be having only unit 1 for the first internals and coming to the second internals you will be having two units unit 2 and unit 3 for the second internals okay the marks will be given for 30 for each internal internal 1 will carry 30 marks internal 2 will carry 30 marks and final internal marks will be average of two internals okay it's remember it's not best of two it's average of two we'll take average of two and we'll keep it as your final internal marks moving on to the question paper pattern final semester end examination so that will be for 60 marks out of which part a is having 45 marks and part b is for 15 marks as usual Part A will be having question number 1 or question number 2 from unit 1 and question number 3 or question number 4 from unit 2 and question number 5 or question number 6 from unit 3. Okay, this is the pattern. Each unit will be carrying 15 marks for you each unit will be having 15 marks for you either you can answer one or you can answer second question one you have a option over here in part b you will be having five question out of which three should be answered you have five questions out of which you have to answer for three and three questions of five marks total 15 marks will be there three questions of five marks total you will be having 15 marks so here 45 marks and in the part b 15 marks you'll your paper is totally for 60 marks this is all about your question paper pattern and the marks distribution for this particular semester and some of the uh, books what you can refer for this particular subject is think python how to think like a computer and introduction to python programming and python data analytics this is for last module and this is for another two modules so you can refer these books for your better understanding on python programming language thank you